Oh, welcome back to the video, guys. We're back this time with the Charmy video. That, in fact, that all of the evidence suggests that Charmy is the queen of the land of the sun. But before we jump into that, guys, I do have some sad, rather expected, <laughs> horrifying, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, news. The Black Clover mobile game has now has an official title, The Opening of Fate has unfortunately been delayed from 2022 till quarter one 2023 which means either january february january february march or april 2023 now i i i what else can i say it was expected there was honestly no trailers actual gameplay videos for the mobile uh, there was a beta test recently, so it explains why there's also another delay. Uh, remember, this game is being developed by uh, a Pearl Abyss company. Pearl Abyss do Black Desert Online and other MMORPGs. They're very, very good developers sometimes. <laughs> so I'm really hoping this game is going to be good, but unfortunately it has been delayed until 2023. With that being said, guys, we have some epic Fury videos this week. So be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. We're doing a giveaway on this video at 500 likes. Let's just jump straight into it. Jumping straight into it, we're actually going to start this Charmy Fury uh, because we need to know how Yuki Tabata does hints. We talked about it in yesterday's videos that Tabata hints are very subtle. A lot of you said being subtle is good because not everyone can figure it out. And that's really fun because you guys can watch YouTube videos on different YouTubers and almost all of them could have different theories all leading to the same thing that is honestly super cool. So we're gonna talk about Charmy. Obviously, for, from what we know, Charmy's name is Charmy Papitson. Uh, this was released a long time ago, by the way, and her birthday is on June 3rd. Now, a lot of you might know, not realize what the hint here is, but June 3rd is actually the star sign Gemini. And if you watch fairy tale, you would know that a popular figure in fairy tale is the Gemini twins. In Greek mythology, I think it's Greek anyway, Gemini is referenced as the two twins. And every time in different cultures, in different media, we see the Gemini twins, it's always two people. Now, obviously, I'm referring to Charmy. We all know what that means. Charmy has two sides, a human side and a dwarf side. She grows in size when she ever, whenever she transforms into a dwarf size. Now, what's interesting about Charmy's dwarf side is the fact that she wasn't aware of it. But that doesn't really make sense because the wolf was aware. The wolf in sheep's clothing, I can't believe how many hints Tabata throws, by the way. The wolf in sheep's clothing, the wolf is aware of Charmy. Now, personally, I believe Charmy's dwarf side is more in line with, I don't know if you guys recently watched a Marvel Cinematic Universe TV show called Moon Knight. In Moon Knight, the main lead character, Oscar Isaac, uh, plays, he has a dual personality or in that case three i'm not going to do any moon knight spoilers but anyway he is a mental disorder which uh unfortunately uh comes out with dual personalities now i don't know much information about this but i genuinely believe that charmy might have used her dwarf side unknowingly in the past because the first time we saw her dwarf side uh she wasn't aware that she's a dwarf she was like who the hell are dwarves if I remember to show it, I'll show it in the picture up there. But anyway, going forward, what does this matter? What are we talking about the Queen of the Sun? Well, around the same time of those chapters, around chapter 50, chapter 60, Yuki Tabata directly linked Charmy with the Land of the Sun. After the dungeon arc, uh, when Yami visited Julius, Julius picked up Charmy and said, by the way, Yami... Is this your child? When did she get this big? Uh, and Yami said, hell no. Now, now we know that 
Yami's from the Land of the Sun, what we know back then, and now we're in the Land of the Sun arc. It's interesting because when we first got introduced to the Land of the Sun, Asta woke up and saw a doll serving tea, and Asta said, Miss Charmy, we revealed the name of this tea serving doll is Ochami. Now, I don't know about you, Charmy. Oh, Chami. Charmy. Oh, Chami. I don't know about you, but Charmy's name could be a pseudonym. Charmy's name is very suspicious. If the name of the doll is called Ochami, right? And Charmy, his name is Charmy, that is honestly very suspicious. Not only that, once again, Tabata has reintroduced Charmy in the most recent chapter of Black Clover. We see a statue in the background. And if you zoom in, it's there is no second thoughts. It is Charmy. It is another dwarf human looking character, a statue of Charmy, a shrine. Now, in Japan, we, we've seen from a lot of anime, I don't really know the culture, maybe some Japanese folks in the comment section can correct me if I'm wrong, but in Japan, they have shrines, shrines they pray to. In old times Japan, if I'm not mistaken, they used to have shrines for their kings, or for, I guess for their emperors. I believe, with all of the hints given, that Charmy is a lost princess of the land of the sun we know from this most recent black clover chapter that the land of the sun was in turmoil that there were wars raging across the land of the sun a chica son even though ryu has no yoriyuki using his clairvoyance wisdom and sheer popularity he was able to unite the land of the sun in turbulent times going into black clover chapter 342 we're going to see the flashback of yami supposedly annihilating one of the warring clans in the land of the sun but i genuinely believe that the land of the sun was ruled by the dwarves that one of the warring clans one of the lead clans in this era were the dwarves and this is one of the ones reunited when ryu reunited the land of the sun into one war now we don't exactly know the backstory and we probably won't fully see the backstory in black Clover chapter 342 but another thing i want to point out is charmy's hair color about a few chapters ago, when the citizens of the Land of the Sun saw Charmy's hair, they said, hey, the color of his hair, is he a foreigner? What's wrong with his arm? Now, it's been supposedly told us the fact that literally everyone we've met so far has black hair color, that the people from the Land of the Sun have dominant, dominantly black hair, and that different hair colors are just a weird concept even amari kumari says she dyes her own hair so amari doesn't actually have the hair color she has and the fact that tabata even has this conversation in this chapter is very suspicious because he's clearly trying to reference something now other people we know to have a black hair color is you know but you know is from the spade kingdom so that rules him out the only odd person here that we know that has a black hair color is knocked and morgan faust now knocked and morgan have black hair color but another thing we need to consider is that knocked and morgan's family house faust was dabbling in demonic magic now i don't know why Tabata is constantly bringing up this hair color. A lot of people have been saying that Ryu has devil magic. That's how he's using clairvoyance. Maybe he's using the powers of a time devil user. Or maybe Ryu himself is Astaroth. I don't know. But a lot of people have been speculating that the black hair color could be a cause of dark magic. Now, we know the Spade Kingdom royalty in the past was using devil magic 
That's why they have a devil literally locked under the kingdom. That's That could be a reason why they have black hair. We know that the Fausts, Noct and Morgan, were, were dabbling in devil magic. That's why they have black hair. And if the Land of the Sun used to use devil magic, it could also explain why they have black hair. Now, there is not much evidence in regards to that, but there is something wrong. Why does Tabata keep showing Charmy as statues, as shrines, as a Ochami doll? Why does Tabata keep bringing up the black hair color? This is all leading up to, I believe, to the final black bull member we know nothing about, and that is Charmy Papitson. If you haven't realized, Charmy is the last Black Bull member to receive a Black Story. We still don't know anything about her. We know she's a half-dwarf-human hybrid. We don't know how, we don't know why, but I guess we'll find out in the next Black Clover chapter. I believe that Charmy is the Empress of the Land of the Sun. I believe she escaped, she ran away, she came to the Clover Kingdom. I don't know how, I don't know why. Maybe she has this split personality with her dormant side that we still don't know yet. I guess we'll find out in the next upcoming chapter of Black Clover. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. My name is Jesse, as always. Peace.